<laughs> Thank you for the question. <laughs> Hello, my name is Simone Menezes and I'm here to talk about the CD Accents. It's a way that we speak a language. For example, when I speak English or French, I have my Italian-Brazilian accent. An example of accent in music for me is Copland Appalachian Spring. If you just play the notes as it is on the score, you will have a music like but if you consider that this music was influenced by country music, that was influenced by the roots of uh, folk England and Irish songs, you will see that the way you should play violin, for example, it's more, much more like a country way, that, like a classical music way. We have, first of all, the French accent with La Prévide d'Enfant, that has this French accent which is very clear when we think about the tempi in an organic way, not a beat way. Then we have Villa Lobos music with Chorus 5, which is a music completely different. Still, we have some influence of European music in harmony and in colors, but also we have this kind of local rhythms and influence of folk music. Also, we have Copland, the biggest representant of American classical music, and uh, he created the classical music with a completely new accent, thinking about the landscapes and scenes like Goldmeier scenario, when he was uh, living uh, some days in this context of Goldmeier studios. And then we have also a completely different travel to Russia, to listen Borodin in this we have this music inspired by Russian folk stories. And the last one is Sophie Lacaze, which is a French composer, a music inspired by the Aboriginal people from Australia. If we are really honest with ourselves as artists, we will show a little bit about what we are in the music. So, for example, when I was younger, I heard critics about Villa Lobos because the problem of form. And uh, for me, it sounds completely strange because we are thinking about a classical music that was in a tropical soil. You cannot imagine that in a tropical soil you have a sonata form. And if Villa Lobos or other Latin America composer decided to be completely formal. They will kill themselves, they will kill um, their authenticity. We always have something that came from ourselves in our art. During several centuries, we were a little bit separate, so we developed different schools, like, for example, Paris Conservatory developed all the tradition around the woodwinds way to play and the same for Austria and etc. But I think we live in a world today that is very cosmopolitan. It's important to have the tradition, it's important to know how to play Mahler, the Austrian uh, influence and the Viennese waltz. For the other side, everybody needs to know the same for other composers. Everybody needs to know how to develop different sounds and colors with the flute to make one sentence of DBC with three different colors, for example. For my generation, it's a little bit strange to think that one must know only uh, about one kind of uh, classical music. And this is the kind of discussion I want to open with the CD. K is a group of soloists in the Triangle, Paris, Brussels and North France. We come from different countries with different backgrounds, but with a very open mentality and cosmopolitan vision of classical music. I think it's easier in a certain way to do this kind of project with a chamber ensemble because you have a closer relationship between all the musicians to have discussions around this subject, to have this, this sharing experience. It's very different to conduct a, a symphony orchestra. Um, I would compare, for example, conduct a symphony orchestra like conducting a big truck and conducting an ensemble like that. It's like to conduct a small motorcycle that if you do like that, they will react very fast. For us, it's very important to discover new ways to connect with audiences. We believe that classical music is a treasure for everybody.
if we are able to communicate in, the, in a way that the audience can understand us, it's much easier. For an audience that is not habituated with classical music, it's difficult, for example, to think about a 45 minutes of a symphony of Bruckner, even though it's wonderful. But uh, I'm sure that if you propose for uh, all kinds of audiences a very good classical music in a 10 minutes movement, it will be much more easier to connect with them. We must be flexible to broke traditionalism, not tradition, but traditionalism. We have this, this goal in our days, uh, not change the classical music, but to propose uh, projects, meaningful projects that are able to touch every kind of audiences.